your rough draft example. We are going to start to learn how to write an essay, in this case our opinion essay, in MLA format. Now there are a few more things we will learn later on, but here is how I would like it to look today. I know it's going to sound crazy and it will make some of you sad, but we all need the same font. We are going to use Times New Roman, font size 12, and our spacing needs to be double. So the first thing you're going to type is your name. I'm going to pretend my name is Bob the Best. You just need to put your first and last name. You got this. Then you need to put your teacher. So if you have Mrs. Lowheed, you're going to write Mrs. Lowheed. If you have Mrs. Kiefer, you're going to write Mrs. Kiefer. Then you need to write what class you're in. So we are going to write or type fourth grade. And then you need the date. Now, this format is used by many, many high schools and colleges. I have a website that helps me remember the format. So over here, it shows you how to write the date. I know you normally don't write the date like that. So today's the 16th of March, and it's 2020. Then I'm going to go down to the next line, and then I'm going to center my title. Now, my title does not need to be underlined and it does not need to be in bold print. You can determine the title of yours. For mine, I'm just going to write title because I don't want to give any hints. But you come up with a creative title. Yours will be different depending on if you're a loyalist or a patriot. Then I'm going to go down to the next line and I'm going to go back to left align. And remember, you always need to indent your paragraphs. I have a laptop so I can push tab. A lot of you will be on your iPad, so you push your space bar 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times. Now we've not gone over the introduction with you yet. So all you are going to type is introduction, and you don't actually have to type that paragraph yet. You're just going to click down to the next time line return, and you are going to start your first reason paragraph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I know the introduction will look a little bit funny, but let it go for now. We will go over the introduction later on. Mrs. Kiefer's class, you might have had the chance to write your introduction, so if you want to type your introduction, that's totally fine. My class, we did not go over that yet, so we will go over that later on in the week. Now to type your first reason. So at this point, you should be looking at your outline, which has everything. Some of you even put it in sentences. Some of you, you're not quite there yet with sentences. Now we have to bring it all together. We can use our transition words, and we can make it professional. So what's your first reason for being a patriot or a loyalist? I'm not going to give a patriot or loyalist reason because I do not want to give anything away. So with my class, if we're going back to my example from a few days ago, I was talking about how I have the best class ever and then I gave different reasons as to why my class is the best class ever. So my first reason was that they do their best work all the time. So I'm going to start with one reason my class is the best class ever is because they choose to always do their best. So one reason my class is the best class ever is because they choose to always do their best. Then I have pieces of evidence. I had data to prove it. So I have that in a phrase on my paper, so I'm going to put it in sentence form in my paragraph.
My fourth grade class this year has earned more dojos than any other class I have taught. This shows that they choose to listen and in turn this helps their learning. So what do I have so far? One reason my class is the best class ever is because they choose to always do their best. My fourth grade class this year has earned more dojos than any other class I have taught. This shows that they choose to listen and in turn this helps their learning. Now I would keep typing until I was done with my paragraph. Once I'm done with my first reason paragraph, I would click return and then I would indent again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I would go another reason and I would use my outline to type my next paragraph. Once I'm done with that, I would return one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I would do my final reason. When you are done typing, you should have three solid paragraphs with three different reasons. So let's just type finally. Pretend that's my third paragraph. And then you need your conclusion paragraph. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Conclusion. Now, if you wrote your conclusion paragraph with Mrs. Kiefer, you can go ahead and type it. My class, I will have a demonstration video later in the week to help you with that. So, when you are done typing, you should have your first reason paragraph, your second reason paragraph, and your third reason paragraph. Later on in the week, we'll go over revisions, editing, and my class will go over introduction and conclusion. Thanks for listening, and I cannot wait to see your rough draft examples.